Guys, this is Will with Furnerology, and we're doing a review of the Galaxy Note 8. Just jumping into this real fast, you got a great big 6.3 inch screen that is just freaking massive. Uh, I just have to say right off the bat that if you wear sweatpants and you work out and you use this as your as your iPod, however you want to uh, say that, it, you know, it could fall out of your pants. I know sweatpants don't have the biggest pockets in the world, and uh, it's just something that, that I use that's something that, you know, I look for in a phone, that uh, size, basically. So I love the screen. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's fantastic, but but it's it's humongous. I mean, I also ride a motorcycle, so to have this sucker in your pocket while you're riding a motorcycle is just not, it's not fun. Uh, I have to put it in the jacket, you know, where you hold your gun, and uh, I have to hold my phone in th that pocket. But uh, with that being said, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. This thing is just badass. It's, uh, besides being just how large it is, you can do everything with it. I mean, there's not a lot of things you cannot do. And with this as pen, it makes it well worth the investment. I did come from the Galaxy S8 Plus. I know y'all are going to say, what the hell? You bought a, you just bought an S8 Plus. Why did you go to the Note 8? There's no, there's no difference. It's the same phone. Well, um, I have to say there's one thing on the S8 Plus that really annoyed me, and that was I had the red tint at the bottom right down here. And I know that Samsung pushed out a update for it that helps you go warmer or cooler uh, based on the uh, you know the, the ambient temperature and all that good stuff of the display. Well, that didn't help. Uh, I tried a few different scenarios with that, the warmer and the cooler, and it, I had the red tint to it. So that annoyed the hell out of me. And um, you know, with that being said, I'm also on T-Mobile, and I have an old plan where I can jump and I didn't have to pay any money down. I just pay a little bit more monthly for the phone, but I do not pay a single penny down. So, you know, that was my decision, and that's what I went with. And uh, I'll probably end up rolling out with uh, another phone here in about a month, which you guys will see and I'll do a review of. But this phone, again, guys, this is a beast. It has 6 gigs of RAM, and you can see it when you start opening applications. So I know one guy did a test and he did something like 30 something apps and then they all loaded memory, you know, and, and then once he got to the 34th or whatever it was, uh, that's when it had to actually uh, reopen in memory. So, I mean, that's insane. That's a lot of applications that you can open and do a lot of stuff with. Now, one thing that I can say, I don't have one, but it's the, the DeX. I think that with six gigs of RAM, you docking this sucker and having it export to a monitor and a keyboard, you're going to have a, a badass scenario there. It's going to be awesome just because of the speedy and just how the processor in the sucker and the RAM with DeX is, uh, I can imagine, is fantastic. Now, few, a few other little things here. I know this guy, I think, is uh, running 7.1.1. I know Samsung's going to be slow at coming out with updates. Um, I'll probably have another phone before Oreo actually hits this sucker. So to each its own, I bought this phone because of the S Pen. I bought it for the uh, software that it runs and how Samsung twisted the software to work in my favor. All right, guys, let's just jump right into the S Pen review itself. You can see that it's somewhat similar sized uh, S Pen that you get, that you've gotten in the past. You still got the clickable clickable uh, pen there. I have not tried to put that in backwards because one, I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to go ahead and uh, screw my phone up even though they say you can do it and it won't be a problem. I'm not going to test that. So if somebody else wants to do that, go ahead and uh, be my guest. I will probably watch that video just to see if you can uh, pull that sucker out. But you know, guys, uh, the phone is just a beast. The, uh, the pen with it just makes it an everyday daily driver that I could just do anything with, especially uh, work scenarios and situations, just being able to write a note whenever I want to. With the screen off, I can write a note and uh, save it the whole bit. So let's do that. Let's give it a shot. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the, let's go put that pen right on back in.
turn off the screen. The pen lives right here on the right. And what we're going to do, pull that out. We're going to get the on-screen memo here, which is uh, black and white. Quickly write the note and save. Bam, it's saved, it's done. No worrying about uh, opening of that screen. You just write your note and you're on your way. So let's go ahead and get in. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you, I'm gonna do the fingerprint scanner and tap it the first time. Bam, opened, okay, great. So something real fast, the, san the uh, fingerprint scanner. So my S8 Plus, I had the fingerprint scanner set to have notifications pulled down with the fingerprint gestures. Well, I noticed that the fingerprint scanner only worked about half the time with fingerprint gestures put on there, so turned on. So what I did is I turned off fingerprint gestures, just had it to where it's just fingerprint thing. Uh, the S8 Plus worked perfectly, so when I got the Note 8, I did the same thing. No fingerprint gestures. I don't want to screw with that. I don't want it to uh, mess with my, my fingerprint scanner because I need that. I get into it and, it, and it works flawlessly. It's worked every single time, so no problems with the fingerprint scanner at all. But uh, get, getting into the S Pen, when you pull out the pen, you will get this screen right here, which you can also tap. The uh, There's a little button you can tap to pull this out too. But you will get Create a Note, View All Notes, Smart Select, Screen Write, Live Message, Bixby, Vision, Magnify, Gallery, and all the shortcuts that you can make it. So, I mean, you can customize the hell out of it. I, uh, I use it for more than anything. I mean, creating notes is great, but Smart Select. Smart Select is fan-freaking-tastic. So I can just go in here, take that selection. I can then you know extract text if I wanted to and a whole bunch of stuff that gets technical, but share and just press share, send it off, email it, do whatever you want. Bam, it's there, it's gone, it's sent to whoever you need to be sent to. I think that is fantastic. I love that because I have to explain things to people uh, you know, about the phones and whatnot, and I can just take a quick crop of it and, and send it off and, and explain what to do next. So, I mean, it's fantastic to be able to have this pen, be able to have it to write and, and uh, just go about your day. Now, let's get into, get out of that. So what I'll have to say, let's see if I can get out of that. Well, I'll just back out. All right, guys, let's take a look at there's just a few settings real fast you'll see with the pull down actually let's just go all the way down with the pull down so what we have you get your toggle settings you get your wi-fi your sound your bluetooth all that good stuff you have flashlight built in there which is awesome power saving mode performance mode i myself i have i never mess with performance i just leave it wherever it's on so right now i think if i hold this down let's so I'm on Optimize, which uh, actually balances battery life and screen resolution for everyday use. And you can go ahead and select another option depending on your usage. So there's gaming, uh, entertainment, and high performance. I know high performance is uh, going to utilize the uh, the processor and the, and the RAM, but but guys, Optimize works for me. I have great battle battery life with it. You know, I go to bed at uh, wake up at 7:30, go to bed around 10:30. I still have about 30% left of battery life, so it gets me throughout my whole day, which is what everyone's looking for in a device. I really don't notice a difference between the S8 Plus battery and the Note 8 Plus, uh, the Note 8 battery, which I know had a, oh man, uh, two, 200, 300 milliamp battery that's actually smaller, so something along those lines, but the Note 8 has been a fantastic phone for me with battery life. Now you can see all the different settings we have with the Note 8. Nothing is uh, is too too different from the S8 at all, if anything. So don't really need to go too crazy into that. Now I do want to tell you that you can change these guys. I have it back, and I have it uh, home button, and I have the recent apps. You can change that however you like. I just currently do it that way because that's kind of the Nexus style, and that's what I like and it works best for me. Uh, I am running Nova, so I can double tap and open up things and um, 
you know, pinch and open up things and swirl and open up things. So Nova is a fantastic uh, launcher that you guys can absolutely customize the hell out of. So if you haven't and you're not running Nova, by all means, pick it up. I think I bought the, uh, the I think I got the pro version or whatever it is. You buy, you download the free and they pay for the pro so you can get the jesters and do a lot more customization. So it's well worth it. I may have paid like $4.99 something along those lines, but Nova is well worth it. Now, overall, the, um, I mean, what I, what I think about this Note 8 is that it's a, it's a badass phone, and you can absolutely do anything with it. I think it's great for working professionals, and I think that uh, a phone just works. I mean, it works, it works well. So guys, you know, let me know in the comments of what you think about the phone, and let's hear your views. Let's see what people think. Are you going to stick with it? Are you going to go to the dreaded iPhone X or the iPhone 8 or a LG V30? Uh, guys, just let us know. Let us know here at Phrenology what you're going to go into next, and maybe we'll, we'll uh, follow that up with a video of that phone. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed my uh, reaction, basically, to this Note 8 and what I think of it. Uh, if you're going to go for a S8 Plus or a Note 8, I think it's going to be based on finances and what you guys can afford. If you do not use this sucker right here, then by all means, just go get the S8 Plus and forget this guy, and uh, you'll be you'll be perfectly happy. But for me, you know, I love the pen, I love the big screen, even though uh, it can't really fit in a pocket, especially when you're riding a motorcycle or working out of the gym. But uh, but hey, to each its own. Now, um, other than that, I know there's different, there's phones out there like the S8 that's cheaper, you know, like I said, the S8 Plus, and you got this Note 8 here, you got iPhones and all that good stuff, but that's up to you. Whatever you think works and whatever you like, I think this phone's a beast. I notice the difference in the speed between this and the S8 Plus, and I absolutely love it. All right, guys, so we're going to go into the whole uh, Bixby situation here which I think is a fantastic AI. I mean, I really think, I think it's awesome and what it can do, it beats anybody. There's not a single voice assistant that comes close. Now, of course, you still need Google Plus, Google Home for um, you know actual questions. But with Google Home and with this guy, it's a, it's a one-two punch that beats everyone out. I do know the Bixby has its own button right there that you can disable if you need to. I do keep it on there because then you could just tap it and say what you want instead of having to say the command word every single time. But let's give this a shot. Let's see what it does. Hi, Bixby. Create a new contact. Tell me your voice password to continue. Lex Luther. Choose where to save the contact. So, I mean, there's some interaction that you do, but look at that. It opens up contacts in um, right there. Just choose where to want to, and I can, I can go from there. So that is a very, 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 very big reason why I get the uh, Samsung devices, especially the S8 Plus and this guy's, because I think that Bixby is fan freaking tastic. So, with that being said, let's um, let's give it a whirl. So, hi Bixby. Open Play Store. Okay, here it is. Bam, and you get points. You get points for using it, which is pretty cool. You can buy stuff once you get up to a billion freaking points, which you'll never get up to. But that's just uh, something cool that you do get points by using it. That is cool. Hi, Bixby. Clear all applications. What? You see, I got 10 points. That's pretty cool. Um, it See, I mean, it does stuff that no other voice assistant can do. Uh, let's give this a shot and say, hi, Bixby. Open display settings and switch display to quad HD. Okay, here's the app info. All right, yeah, yeah, okay, so it, that messed that one up. Um, we can go into 
let's go into Bixby and go into settings, uh, voice apps and services, and it tells you kind of what it can do. You have to say certain phrases and it will work with uh, not just the native applications, but also with other third party apps like Facebook and YouTube and Instagram, all this stuff. Uh, Uber, Pandora, it looks like right now, this is everything that it works with. But I mean, show S Pen in settings. You can say things like that. Change pen color to black with black. Select pen mode. Share screen write. I mean, this is incredible, the things you can do. Uh, open my files and find doc files. Uh, geez, I mean, video player. This is everything with video player. Just the video player app that it can do. I mean, edit the video. Increase screen brightness. Um, let's give that a shot. Hi, Bixby. Increase screen brightness to full. Ah, I said full. I didn't. Which one? Let's try that again. Hi, Bixby. Increase screen brightness to full. Oh, really? Done. It's now at four. That's funny. So, it's a, it used the number four. That's not what I wanted. Um, I didn't know that you can do that in numbers, so let's try that again. Hi, Bixby. Increase screen brightness to 10. Done. It's now at 10. Holy moly. Okay, so I didn't even see a difference. I, uh, I guess that's 10%. Hi, Bixby. Increase screen brightness to 100%. Okay, it's now at so we're going off of um, actual percentages, so that's, that is pretty freaking cool. I mean, seriously, guys, tell me another phone that can do that, besides the Samsung device, obviously, but seriously, tell me another phone that can do that, because that is amazing. You do not have to touch the phone to absolutely do anything. Hi, Bixby. Open Facebook. That, that's pretty cool. Hi, Bixby. Scroll down. Look at that. It, it will freaking scroll for you. You do not have to even use your hands. That is freaking cool. Um, but guys, I mean, that's just scratching the, the surface. Oh, look at that. I've, I've uh, earned 100 bonus points with by using Bixby. So you do get those points, which is really cool. But... Um, Hi, Bixby. Close all apps. Sure. I've closed all our recently used apps. Did, did she just laugh at me? <laughs> Anyways, uh, but guys, seriously, I mean, Bixby is freaking amazing. I know people hate it, but give it a shot. That with Google, uh, Google Now and all that good stuff. I mean, it, it's a uh, one-two punch that nothing, nothing can come close to. So guys, give this video a thumbs up, give it a like if you like it, but Bixby is badass, and I would definitely say turn it on, I would say use it, and challenge yourself to do it every single day. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video, peace.